Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Windsor Medals. Thanks for checking out this video. So this video today is a video that I've been wanting to do for quite a long time now. I've done a video on how to clean Second World War medals and how to clean current day uh, British military medals. So I thought it was about time I showed you guys how to clean the World War I medals. And that's the... 1914-15 star, the British War Medal, World War I and the Victory Medal. So as you can see with these medals, you can see they're extremely dirty and extremely tarnished. I'll show you the British War Medal, that's literally nearly black. And then the victory medals extremely tarnished as well so to clean these three medals they do come up really nice you've got to work really hard especially with the victory medal you need a lot of elbow grease on that one this one's not too bad and the star's not too bad so what i use for cleaning medals for silver medals generally i use the silvo tarnish guard it's like in wadding form just break bits off and then you can rub it on the medals and then the sort of the brasso bronzy type medals i use this uh, brasso metal polish wadding so i think i will do the british war medal first so i'm going to just get a bit of silvo wadding so just break some off and then literally you just start rubbing the metal round and round up and down okay don't forget when you're cleaning these metals get the edge of the metal done as well So you just literally rub it up and down, starting from the top, and then just work all the way around and flip it over and then do the other side. You've got to rub really hard. By the way, I would recommend that you wear gloves cleaning these medals. I, I normally do, but today I've not put them on. So when you rub on the metal with a lettering, just make sure you get right into the lettering and give it a really hard rub. Go round and round and up and down and get into those nooks and crannies. Don't forget the suspension bar as well. Give that a good rub. So you can either use a yellow duster to polish them off or a blue jewellery cloth, which I generally use. They're really good. This is quite a used one, so sorry it's so black. So all you do is get your metal and then you give it a good rub and get the polish off the metal. And this is coming up really nice sometimes when they come up quite easy like this has it means that it's been cleaned a lot in the past they generally do come up a little bit cleaner easier if they've been cleaned a lot in the past but you can see that there's no comparison to the before and after all the edges nice and clean suspension bars clean the whole metals really clean so if you've got quite a lot of black in the lettering still what i tend to do is put the wadding over the lettering and get your cloth 
and rub down really, really hard. You can just get a bit more leverage if you do it with a duster or like this blue cloth over the top. You can penetrate into the letters a little bit better. Like I say, this metal's going to come up really nice. Yeah, all the lettering's really clear and nice now as well. Right, so the next metal I'm going to clean is the Star. They're generally a bit easier than the Victory Medal. The Victory Medals are always the hardest, so I'm going to leave that one till last. So get a generous piece of uh, wadding, same detail as the Silver Medal. I'm just going to rub, rub, rub both sides really hard for quite a long time and then hopefully it will come up really nice so here we go Right, okay, I've put a lot of elbow grease into cleaning this star. It seems quite a stubborn star. Don't want to clean up quickly. So anyway, let's give it a rub over now and see how well we've done. So the back's looking, looking pretty good there. The front's not too bad as well. Also, another tip for you, when you're polishing the medals up, wadding off there is to get the metal on top of the duster the blue cloth and just rub up and down really fast it creates a friction it gets into the nooks and crannies and cleans it up really well so just flip it flip it over and give it a good rub that's come up pretty good as you can see, it's 100% better than five minutes ago. So just as a quick point for you guys, just have a look at the engraving on the back of this medal. The World War I medals are all stamped with tools. So modern day medals now are laser engraved. So the styles of engraving have changed over the years. But like I say in the day, these were stamped with tools quite deep into the metal. They look really good. Just a point of interest, I can show you the British War Medals engraving as well. If we can see it, yeah. And that's been stamped in with tools. So obviously the process back in the day was a lot longer than what it is now. Right, so I'm going to move on to the Victory Medal now. This one's the hardest to clean for some reason. I don't know why you've got to polish and polish and polish the life out of it to get a good result. So same detail as the other two. I'm just going to rub like mad for quite a while, up and down, round and round, not forgetting to do the edges and the suspension ring as well. So here we go.
okay that's took a, quite a few minutes to get that polish into that metal i'm just going to wipe it off now with the blue cloth when you're rubbing with the blue cloth just make sure you get into the edges as well around the metal not forgetting the suspension ring as well they come up really nice so as far as cleaning a victory medal, I'd say this one wasn't too bad. So I suspect these medals have been cleaned quite a lot in the past. So it's come up like a new penny, absolutely gleaming. And that didn't take too long. The edges are really cleaned well. And the back's really nice. Just to show you the engraving again, the example of the stamping style engraving very clear very deep as engraving goes so if you want to get an even higher polish on the metal a higher shine from the polish is if you put some of the wadding on the metal and get your cloth over the top and just go round and round and up and down for quite a while you'll get an even deeper shine on the metal. And like I've said in previous videos, if you've just got a slight surface crack, scratch on the metal, like not a deep one, you can actually reduce the scratch or even get rid of it if you do this process for quite a long time, you know, up to five minutes maybe. You can actually reduce the scratch so you can hardly see it or not see it at all. It's like if you was in the services when you used to bull your boots. It's the same sort of thing. You just go round and round in a circle with a polish. Like so. So this will be even shinier now. So let's have a little look at it. There's nothing more satisfying than seeing a lovely cleaned metal after it's been so dirty and tarnished before the end results are just amazing well, that's just awesome like i showed you before you can roll your duster up or your blue cloth like so and create a lot of friction with the metal get your metal the friction obviously when you're rubbing up and down it just gets an even deeper shine to the metal. So the proof is in the pudding, as they always say. I'm really, really happy with that. So that was the World War One victory medal. That was the World War One British War medal. Really nice. And then the World War One star, the 1914-15 star. All really high polished, ready for mounting. Right, so I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, fire away on the comments below. I'm always there to answer any questions. If you've not subscribed, please consider subscribing that'd be amazing i'm going to do lots of content for british militaria uh, lots about british medals and tailoring jobs so i really hope you've enjoyed this video and we'll hope to catch you in the next one bye